Do you know what a biography is? That's right, it's the true story of a real person's life. I want to tell you the biography or the story of someone's life today. And then I want to introduce you to a special, beautiful poem that he wrote. Some of you might know it. It's very famous and it's always sung rather than spoken. I want to introduce you to Mr. John Newton. John was born in 1725. That's 305 years ago. When he was 11, he didn't go to school. He became a sailor. He started work for his dad on board his ship. He stayed working on ships and eventually became a sea captain, a person in charge. Uh, he wasn't a nice person to start with. The ships he sailed carried cargo, things from one country to another that people wanted to sell and buy. Now, that might sound like a good thing to do, but the cargo he moved was people. You may have heard about this on TV recently. It was called the slave trade. For many thousands of years, slaves were people that were stolen from their homes, then sold and bought and were owned by others. They weren't treated like people. They weren't free to do what they wanted. They didn't have their own things. They were never given money for the work they did. They didn't even have their own name. They were often treated like animals. John Newton would put hundreds of people in his ships, chained together, unable to move. Some died or became sick, and they'd be thrown into the sea. For several weeks they were in the dark, horrible inside of the ship. Then they were sold again. Slave trading was the most horrible thing one person could do to another person, but it was allowed. John Newton became very sick. It made him think of God, and he chose to be a Christian. He wasn't as horrible, but he didn't stop trading slaves. Eventually he gave up being a sailor and became a vicar. Slowly he began to realise how wrong slavery was. He became very sad about what he used to do and he helped others see how bad it was. He had a special friend called William Wilberforce. He was a politician and together they tried to persuade others about how horrible slavery was. John told William that the best thing he could do was to stay a politician and make slavery illegal. And that's just what William Wilberforce did. Whoa, what a life John Newton had. He did bad things, but he realised that they were wrong and he wrote a poem about how and why he changed. We call it a hymn. This is the first verse. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost but now am found, was blind, but now I see. Grace, God's love for us, even when we don't deserve it, his love that changes us. John realised that he was a bad person and there was nothing he could do. But when he realised that Jesus loved him and could change him bit by bit, God is so rich in kindness and grace. The book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 7. When he wrote this hymn, John was losing his eyesight. He realised he couldn't see very well. But he also realised that when he moved slaves around the world by sea, well, then he was really blind. He couldn't see how bad that he was. Now... Well, now he could see how bad he was. And he said it was God who changed him and made him see. And he left us these wonderful words. Well, people sing them today because it reminds them about how God's grace, his love, can change us. Amazing grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. What a
心。